I'm Matt. I work at the Children's Museum, and these past four days, I set out to see if I could try to create a water clock like the one at the museum using only things I could find here at home. Ooh, like maybe I could just put this in. Well, maybe not. Uh, anyway, was I successful? Well, you'll just have to watch the videos each day to find out. Here's today's. Good morning, everyone. It is the day of the build. I am in my kitchen right now. I was going to do this outside, but it is super windy today, so I'm gonna do it indoors instead. I did a lot more testing last night with all those containers and a bunch of other containers that I found, and I think I have finally figured out how I want to build my water clock, and these are the things I'm going to use. I'm gonna use this spice container here, this glass cleaner container here, these two plastic storage bins, and a length of tubing from a hiking backpack that I have. I discovered that it takes about 12 of these to fill up one of these, and about 12 of these to fill up one of these. And since most modern clocks tell time divided up into 12 segments, I figured that would make sense for me to use as a basis of time telling as well. So having that said, let's get to work. Ta-da, there it is, my homemade water clock. So now let me take you on a tour of it and show you how it's supposed to work. And I hope that it does. Oh, wait, one last thing, I almost forgot. Uh, when we do the presentation at the museum, we wear light blue lab coats. Um, I didn't have one of those here. This is the best I could do, because it doesn't really go that well with the orange, but well, here, I'll come grab the camera so you don't have to look at it that much longer anyway. All right, so here is the water clock that I just made, and I'll show you how I'm hoping that it will work. We start up at the top here with this tank full of water um, that is very much like the tank at the top of the museum's water clock. And it's not running yet because I've got a little hole at the bottom plugged up with a piece of scotch tape. Um, there we go. And actually, why don't I take that off right now so we can see it start to go. Let me try to get a hold of it there. All right, let's see. Okay, there we go. So just like the museum's water clock, water is coming out of the tank at the top and it's draining into what I have here, which is my spice container that I've put on little pivots so it can uh, pivot back and forth there. This is kind of like the scoop at the top of the museum's water clock. This container should take five minutes to fill up with water. So that's pretty different than the museum's water clock. That one only takes a couple of seconds before the scoop dumps over. But the idea here is that when this fills up with water after five minutes, it will tip over and dump down into this container here. This was the glass cleaner container. I uh, had to rig it up with half of a soda bottle on top just so that the liquid would be able to pour down into it. So, as it dumps in, every time it would fill up just enough to equal five minutes. That's also different than our water clock at the museum. This would represent the, um, the minute side of the, uh, the water clock at the museum. Their water clock is, um, it shows two minutes worth, so this one is not as precise. Now you can see here that I have actually, well, it might be hard to see since the water is clear, I have filled this all the way up to the 55 minute mark already, just so that we can hopefully see what happens when it turns over to the top of the hour without you having to wait for an entire hour. Let's see, okay. So when that fills up, what should happen is the 
spice container there filling up with water will dump into there. The level of water will rise up and start draining over this tube, causing all of the water in here to siphon out into this bucket down at the bottom. And this one will show us the hours. I just arbitrarily filled it up to the number three right now so we can pretend that the time right now is three something. Um, when the water drains into here though, it should go all the way up to the four. So that is how the water clock should work. What I'm going to do now is stop the recording and I will start it again when that spice container is about to tip over and we will see what happens. That's today's video. Make sure you check out all the other ones too. And if you make a water clock using things you find at home, send us photos and updates using hashtag TCM at home. Well, that's all for now. Once again, I'm Matt Anderson, and thank you for joining us as we bring the Children's Museum to you at home.